This is part 4 of the Bagot installation instructions and I'm going to demonstrate how to install the Bagot application on your computer. Bagot is an open source utility developed by the Library of Congress that is available through the SourceForge website. The Bagot developer has conveniently provided a runtime ready version of the Bagot utility on the SourceForge website. There is no need for you to compile the source code. To download the Bagot application, you'll just want to select the download button that you see on this page. Just to clarify, you'll want to make sure that you download the dash bin version of the Bagot code, as opposed to the SRC, which would give you the source code. Now let's switch over to my computer and look at the process for downloading and installing Bagot. So here we are looking at my computer screen, and I've already brought up a browser that is pointing to the SourceForge website. And as we saw in the slides, to download the Bagot program, you want to select this Download button. Once again, keying in on that we are going to download the bin version of Bagot as opposed to the source code where you would see an SRC. So to download the Bagot code, I'm going to select the Download button and it's very common for SourceForge to provide these intermediate advertising pages and the download box is actually going to come up as a pop-up and as you can see my Internet Explorer has some security settings on it preventing windows to pop up so what I'm going to do is go up to my security bar here press my right mouse menu and select the download file option to override the browser security warning. So I'll just need to wait here a couple of seconds while it goes ahead and contacts the website to download and now I see I have my file download dialog box. So to install Bagot we are first of all going to have to download their installation file and then install Bagot from the zip file downloaded to our computer. So I'm going to select the save option and I'm now given a prompt of what directory do I want to save this zip file to on my computer. And it's very common to put it in a temp directory. And this temp directory, I'll just confirm, is actually on my C drive, T-E-M-P, temp, and this is just a temporary holding space which is a nice place to put these files while you're doing a download because after the installation is complete, you are not going to need the zip file any further. So then we could go in and clear out the file from our temp directory. So I'm going to go ahead and select Save. And this is now going to download that zip file into the temp directory. And you would need system administrator access, likely, to even access this temp directory. So now we have downloaded the installation files for Bagot. So now what we want to do is go out and install Bagot on our computer. So I'm done with the SourceForge website, so I can go ahead and close this browser window. Now what I want to do is go out to my computer. So I'm going to select my computer icon that I see in the lower left hand corner here. And I'm going to go out to my C drive and my temp folder on my C drive. And here you see the Bagot-3.9-bin.zip dash dash file that we just downloaded. Now you may not have zip installed on your computer, but the Windows operating system now supports the ability to extract zip archives. So all you need to do is point at that item, you can select it with your left mouse button, and you're going to access the right mouse button menu by pressing the right mouse button, and we are going to select open with, so by default it says open with WinZip, but if you don't have WinZip on your computer, that's not going to succeed. So instead I'm going to go down to the open with compressed zipped folders option. So this is the Windows operating system mechanism to open zip archives. Select that option and now you can see that I am looking into that zip file and I have this Bagot-3.9 folder. Now to install Bagot it's really just a very simple file copy from this zip view into a directory on my computer. So what I'm going to do is go down to my computer, open that up again, and I want to open up another view of my C drive. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to install the Bagot program to the slash directory on my C drive. 
So to do this, I am going to go into my zip view. I'm going to select the Bagot 3.9 folder. I'm going to use my right mouse button to bring up that right mouse button menu. Select the copy option. I'm going to go into my C colon backslash view. I'm also going to use my right mouse button menu, so press that right mouse button and select the paste option. And that pastes the Bagot 3.9 folder onto the slash directory of my C drive. And now Bagot is installed and ready for use. And just to look at it real quickly, you might want to open up the Bagot 3.9 folder, and you'll see we have the bin folder which is short for binary, which is usually where you will find the application program stored. And when I double click on the bin folder, we see the bag and bag.bat files, which are the bag program. So this completes the installation of the Bagot application. And you are now ready to go out and proceed with sections three and four to create and or retrieve and unpack bags. So with the installation of the Bagot application, that completes the fourth and final step of installing and configuring our Java runtime environment and our Bagot application. We started by checking to see if we have a Java runtime environment already installed on our computer, and then proceeded to download and install the JRE. We then demonstrated how to configure the Java home environmental variable, which is necessary for the execution of the Bagot program. We finally demonstrated how to download and install the Bagot program. Note that to install the JRE in Bagot on the C drive of your local computer, you will need administrator rights on that computer. However, for those of you who are comfortable with installing and configuring software on your computer, it is possible to install both JRE and Bagot onto any device that you have access to, including your local share drive or a removable storage device, as we will see demonstrated in parts 3 and 4 of this tutorial. However, regardless of where you install the JRE in Bagot, you will need administrator rights to configure the Java Home environmental variable. Once again, we recommend that if you are not comfortable with the technical aspects of your computer, that you request assistance from your IT support representative to install and configure the JRE and Bagot programs. This now concludes the second part of the Bagot tutorial, and you should now have an understanding of how to install and configure the Bagot and Java runtime environment programs. If you are interested in creating and sending bags, you may want to proceed to part 3, where I will explain the process for creating bags, and then present a demonstration of creating and verifying a bag of files. If you are interested in retrieving and unpacking bags, you may want to proceed to part 4, where I will explain the process for retrieving a bag of files and bringing them into your local working space, and then present a demonstration of retrieving a bag from a portable disk device, verify the bag arrived intact, and then move the files from the bag into my local working space. I hope you have found this overview of installing and configuring the JRE in Bagot helpful and informative, and I appreciate you taking the time to view part two of the Bagot tutorial. If you require more information concerning the procedures for transferring records to the State Records Center, you can contact your records management analyst, whom you can find through one of the following links. Thanks again, and this concludes part two of the Bagot installation and use for transferring digital files tutorial.